Hallelujah. God's got some good things for His church. Amen. Hallelujah. I love that song. Keep me near the cross. Oh, praise the Lord. I remember, I'm like you, sister. I remember being so deep in sin. Man, it was just like yesterday, and I had no hope. I mean, no hope. I had no hope. I'd have hurt so many people and abused so many people and led so many people astray and done so many things. And I come to a place I, I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know nothing about Jesus. I just didn't know what to do. But I'm glad for the cross of Calvary this morning. When I had no place to turn, God let me turn to the cross. And it made a difference, such a difference in my life. And it's still as fresh today as it was back then many years ago. I tell you, the presence of God and the promises of God and the blessings of Jesus are always eternal for His church and His children. Now I'm going to tell you, this year is going to be a year of the harvest, God told me. I'm telling you, get ready. People are going to change and people's lives are going to change and people's families are going to change. And God's doing the drawing and God's pulling the people. It ain't going to be nothing that any man can get any glory for. It's going to be all praises to Jesus. Because he's the one responsible for our salvation. And believe me, he's going to have his church. Amen. Praise the name of God. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There a precious fountain free to all a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain near the cross near the cross be my glory Till my raptured soul shall find peace beyond the rig. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's give Jesus a great big hand clap. Oh, Father God, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Far more than.